Hey guys, it's Nolan. It's Friday, 22nd of April, 2022. Don't normally do a video on a Friday, but uh, we had a bank holiday on Monday, so we thought we'd throw one in today. Uh, let's have a little look at what's going on. Let me just bring over the news, which is what I normally do. Um, had some Euro news out already. Um, PMI numbers. Um, now, if you know your uh, Forex factory, you'll know if it's red, it was worse than expected, basically. If it's green, it's better than expected. So better than expected is good. Worse than expected is bad. However, uh, when it comes to PMI numbers, anything over 50 is what's called clusters expansion, which is good. So even though this is a red number and the actual was less than the forecast, um, the fact that it was over 50 to me is uh, is is good um and this is obviously better than expected um one thing that's not on here and i'm just gonna drop into the medium impact news is um for go into it we had some gbp news here retail sales uh much worse than expected expected uh a minus 0 0.3 but it was actually a minus 1.4 we can see red number there that's actually caused a little bit of a sell-off in the pound uh right at the moment pound is probably one of the uh the weakest currencies and that is due to this retail sales news here so it's amazing how news can just you know turn things on its head uh we have some pmi numbers out here um 9 30 a.m that could totally reverse things who knows and we've got governor bailey speaking at 3 p.m uk time uh that can reverse things as well so it could be an interesting day for the pound as you may or may not know through our previous videos um i think the last video with mark talked about gbp and why we should be looking for um strength in the gbp market due to seasonality and 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 uh something called cut um commitment of traders um just have a look at the video it's the last video uh yesterday it came out i think uh it was either wednesday night or thursday morning have a little look it's the video before this one um we'll have a little look at gbp usd actually because it's actually in a, a very interesting area as you can see this is the daily time frame it is a bearish trend we are in a bearish a bearish channel but you know we've got this low here this low here this low here so three bounces off this trend line this one it took a few uh took a few attempts found a little bit of a base here around about that 132 level um and we've bounced off it here yeah and we are back at that trend line again and it did look as though we were finding support at 1.3 as you can see that's that's the uh the great thing about having some uh, grid lines into your chart you can actually see um pick out the big numbers so 1.3 was acting as a bit of a base here but that worse than expected retail sales numbers has driven um pound usd down alongside um alongside uh, actually a strong dollar at the moment us dollar has just uh pushed this down next up is 129 i don't think we've touched it have we um just looking at the low up here um one 129.01 so not too far away we could we could test that 129 we might see buyers there so that 129 and the trend line is that going to cause a change of cycle now it may do it may not do um we could still drop out of this structure but if you are interested in buying you you know you need to look for buying signals we're not just buying okay there is a trend line there you may want to wait for this daily trend line to break and pr price starting to push higher maybe even higher than 131 now some more um what can i call it um i don't know traders who want to get in a little bit earlier and more aggressive trading could dive down into smaller time frames 15 minute hourly and start to look for changes in sh in cycle here you know right about that 129 level where this trend line is start to see higher highs higher lows so higher highs higher lows is you know like this we start to see price push up the highs are getting higher 
and eventually we make a top there and then we start to reverse okay so we're looking for price to make a bottom now whether you do that uh, you know like I've just done using site there or whether you want to use moving averages and you want to see moving averages cross etc you know that is entirely down to you how you do it but you want to start to see higher highs higher lows now at the moment there's absolutely nothing okay nothing to indicate buying this at the moment um, but for me there's nothing to indicate selling it either even though GBP is the weakest market at the moment with price at this uh, the base of this structure here this descending channel and price approaching eight pips away from 129 I'd be a little bit wary about selling it but that's me personally um, so looking at the structure you know we've had our impulse and this is still the impulse down we've had a, a move a pullback and move down I would be looking for the the correction within the descending channel so the correction is like here 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 all corrections movement against the dominant trend if you like the dominant trend is to the downside I'd be looking for that correction back towards well ideally 134 we've talked about maybe even this swing low here towards the top of the channel anyway so we'll see if that happens. Like I say, there's a little bit more news coming out this morning. Got Governor Bailey speaking later as well, which could totally uh, change things around. So just keep your eye on it. Very, very interesting area. Um, those of you who watched my last video, um, a couple of charts I talked about were Aussie USD and Kiwi USD. Now at the time, Aussie USD was bouncing off this trend line here. Um, and it looked like it was going to go long, even though these moving averages, it was a bit of a quandary for me. These moving averages had turned bearish on the daily, but we got price bouncing off a daily trend line. So there's a bit of indecision there about what was going on. So I looked at this chart and I looked at the Kiwi dollar chart. And this one was different because this chart had broken the trend line. Okay, so I, I said, okay, for, you know, I'm mean, more in favor of trading Kiwi dollar uh, short because Aussie USD undecided. Is it bouncing off the trend line for long or are we pulling back into the moving averages and going short? You know, it was a bit of a bit of a 50 50 situation. So, um, well done, guys. If you took note of what I said, and that was you know looking for the the kiwi shorts we had the break below the trend line lovely pullback daily pullback into the moving averages then boom sold off okay so if you were watching this chart um even if you sold underneath this low you know you're in profit you made some money there was um i think there was a couple of uh opportunities on the smaller time frames as well um whether it was on this four hour or hourly chart, certainly on the four hour. I mean, I love four hour charts because literally um, I'm all in favor of um, not spending too much time, if you like, in front of the charts and just being smart. So four hour time frames are absolutely brilliant because literally, you know, you don't have to look at the charts that many times. You, you have your watch list, you know what you're looking for. <clears throat> does it meet your rules and let me know so on h4 here there was uh this is a, a 50 moving average exponential moving average i should say 20 exponential moving average and an eight you can see this lovely um well there was an evening star pattern here now if you would have taken that sell stop underneath the low stop above the high you would have got triggered in and you would have got taken out okay so that would be a minus one if you like minus one percent but then you've got this bearish engulfing candle so if you'd have sold underneath that stop above the high you would have got triggered in made your money back now if you'd have missed anything there you've got an evening star pattern here bouncing off that 20 moving average sell stop below that low you would have got triggered in made your money and we've had this deeper pullback now moving averages I got a little bit mixed up in the wrong order there. So that's a kind of a no trading zone for me. Moving averages have to be in the correct order. Now they're in the correct order again. Okay, so 
there is a there is a horizontal level here a bit of support we could see price retest this level and reject me personally i like to see 20 moving average bounces but uh 20 moving average you know reactions pull back into the 20 in and out trend and price start to sell off again so we'll see what happens but like i say there is a level there is a base around about 67 200 where price found support here we could come back in and uh, reject there but um yeah well done if you caught that guys um something else i talked about was wti um and i it was actually the subject of the video if i remember rightly i was looking for price to come and test 100 and then potentially extended targets of 96 now that is um not happened but it's only been a couple of days since the video but there was a lovely trade on WTI if you were taking notice. Um, I did actually take this myself. Um, let me just show you exactly uh, what happened. Let me just use the replay button. So if you remember from the last video and if you didn't see it just go and take a look at the last video we had this um, bearish flag formation here on the hourly and I think I said either you know well I said basically set an, set an alert for the break of the CTL um, I might have even said below this wick candle here uh, what I did was I was a little bit um, aggressive placed a short underneath this wick low here uh stop above the high okay above this high here because that is the high of the correction uh final targets here were a hundred uh, but me personally whenever a trade is one to one up i always bank some money in fact i always bank half um i'm actually thinking about changing that i'm actually thinking about changing um banking 90% of my trade at one to one and then uh, letting it run but that's just something I'm thinking about at the moment if I start to do that I'll let you know guys and uh, I'll, I'll let you know how that goes but um, certainly at one to one I bank some money anyway that was the trade 100 um, it was just a resting trade uh, I'll show you what happened so another bounce off the trend line okay looks like it's going up boom and then you get triggered in and then price closes it doesn't close outside the ctl it actually closes back above so that was a bit okay looks like a false break here um and potentially could, could come back break this high and then have another move down but we then do that boom so one to one up i'm banking well, I did bank half of the money, stop loss to break even, and then you leave the rest running to see if it hits that 100 target. And that's risk free because you've moved your stop to break even. Um, I can't get it exactly, let's say it's 100. Um, pushes down a little bit more into 100.5, and then boom, takes me out for break even. So, again, you know, we had Kiwi USD, we had oil. If you were. Uh, watching the charts there were definitely opportunities to make money on both of those now this didn't hit the 100 which is a bit of a shame uh but you were still able to make money out of it if you were um if you were watching the chart so at the moment it's looking a little bit well it's not looking brilliant um and this for me is just it's just a bit of a mess at the moment where this was easily identifiable as a, a flag or a correction pattern and expecting it to drop this here it looks um it's not the best price action in the world so i'm actually staying away from this now um how is the nasdaq doing because we've actually got um like i said pound is one of the weakest markets this morning aussie and kiwi are actually selling off as well as you've seen so it's a bit of a a risk off uh situation at the moment we're actually seeing strength i believe in the japanese yen uh in the japanese yen yep so let's just have a little look yeah believe it or not i mean the yen pairs have been soaring high with yen weakness but today we're seeing yen strength in the market strength which is driving 
all of these pairs down on the day, as you can see. So we are in a risk off situation where the risk currencies, Aussie, Kiwi and CAD are selling off, but more Aussie and Kiwi. And we're seeing money uh, being uh, transferred into the Japanese yen at the moment. So I have a little look at the yen pairs, uh, see if anything, um, see if anything um, looks good. I'll just have a little quick look at dolly yen. Dolly yen for our moving averages are still bullish here. Uh, I can see this, what looks like a, could be a hammer candle being formed. But if you just look at the hourly for a second, we could be retesting this broken CTL here. So we've, we've obviously found a top here, triple top. This could be your neckline, break, retest. We could see downside on this. So keep your eyes on this with that risk off situation the way it is. We could see price start to reverse here and push down. Obviously, if it starts to push back up, then there's no sell trade. You know, we are looking and waiting for price to basically start to do what we think it's going to do. So I think it could start to reverse here. But if this is a false break, then obviously we could come back and retest uh, 128. 63 so i'm going to keep my eyes on that um anything else with that risk off situation we saw the nasdaq have uh, a drop yesterday now this is another chart which i talked about in my last video i told you to keep an eye on 14,000. either actually a break of this level here retest go long or look for price to come into 14,000 and buyers to come in and was hopefully expecting this to break to the upside. Now, price came into 14,000 and boom, buyers came in. You could have made money there if you were looking at that at the smaller time frame. Didn't break above the uh, resistance though here. In fact, look at this bearish engulfing candle, boom. This is when the risk uh, market changed to risk on to risk off. And surprisingly to me, we actually broke this low. We broke 14,000. We broke this low here, which was acting as support. And there was a potential inverse head and shoulders there. Um, we broke this low and we formed a new low. Now, this is interesting because Aussie and Kiwi are very weak at the moment. But yet, looking at this technically after such a big move, We've had this four hour inside candle here, which potentially could be the start of a reversal. And we've broken the high of this candle. So this could actually be a little bit of a, it could be the start of a new move to the upside, or it could just be a correction of this move. But um, interesting. Um, I think to be safe, before you start buying the NASDAQ, it might be worth seeing price have a solid close above this zone here, which is support because it could be become resistance. But if we can see price start to push up, we could use that as another base as an area to buy from because I am, uh, my bias is long on NASDAQ long term. Um, as you may have seen from my previous videos, you just got to look at the monthly chart. It's a bullish market. Okay, so uh, my preference is to, to look for this, but Again, you know, like like Dolly Yen, we've got to look at price action. We could equally find this as resistance and we could break further down. Okay, so support, testing at the moment could become resistance, could break down. I would prefer it to break above, and this was a false break. I'd prefer it to break above, use this zone again as a support and then look to buy. But we'll have to monitor, you know, I have to monitor what Aussie and Kiwi doing is that risk in the market starts to change from risk off to risk on. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I hope, or I really hope you were able to take advantage of uh, some of my analysis in my previous video on Kiwi and on WTI. Keep your eyes on pound USD. It's in a lovely position to go long. We just need to see those buyers come in. Please do not just jump into any buyers on pan just because of uh, or cable just because of where it is at the moment um right that's it from me guys that's it from me and mark this week we will see you again next week um please 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 
subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not subscribed already. Like this video if you liked it. Share the video as well if you know any traders that could take advantage of our free analysis. Uh, we would really appreciate that. So from myself, Mark and the whole team, have a great weekend and we will catch you again next week. See you later. Bye.